Okay, so the first step is to get your CPU that you'll be putting into your computer and take a close look at it, just being careful with where you place your hands. And you'll notice that in one of the corners, there's a little arrow pointing down, and that's what you're going to use to align the CPU in its spot. So we'll be doing that now. Okay, so what you do is now you get your CPU that you'll be placing in, take a close look at it as well, and you'll notice that there's little cutouts along the edges. And those cutouts align to where you're gonna be placing the CPU in the motherboard. So once you've worked out exactly where those cutouts fit, you gently place the CPU in its spot. Don't push it in, just gently place it. Okay, so once you've placed your CPU in correctly, it's supposed to just sit in there nicely without it moving around. You will get the flap that covers the CPU and just push it like that, making sure that it lines up to where this hinge will close. And then what you do, depending obviously which computer you buy, they will have a similar sort of style. You will push this down and pretty tightly clip it, into, clip it into the spot where it belongs. And that way the CPU is now firmly inserted and when you put your CPU cooling unit over it, it will be nice and cool and good contact to ensure good cooling and so forth. Okay, so the next step is to do with installing the memory. You want to do this while the motherboard is out of the computer, it's just a little bit easier. And what you do is you just want to ensure that when you install the memory, you have it in the right color. So in this case, you go gray, 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 or black, black, black. You don't want to mix up the colors, unless you have a lot of memory and a lot of sticks that you're putting in, it's better always to match it in. Reason behind it is something to do with the dual channel and something like this. It's a bit complicated to explain. So just the gist of it is just remember to always put the memory in the same color. To put the memory in is actually quite simple. What you want to do is just make sure that it aligns up nicely with the slot on the motherboard. Push it in gently, give it a firm push in. They'll click in like that. And then you get these edge clips, push them in on both sides, and bam, you've installed your memory. Then you do it for every other slot and away you go. And that's it, you've got your memory installed and that should be working perfectly. Okay, so the next step is to install the retention plate for the CPU cooler. Now each cooler is slightly different and depending on your CPU, there'll be different brackets. With this one here, there's a panel on the back and a panel on the front that screws in. And in this case, we'll actually click the CPU cooler into the spot. Now I will be placing some thermal paste over this just to ensure a better connection for cooling. Um, but each CPU is different, so I won't be covering the install of this completely, but it'll give you an idea of how you need to install your own. Okay, so the next step, you gotta get the uh, I.O. shield that's provided with your motherboard and clip it into the back of the chassis that you're installing it in, so everything lines up nicely. Now, in some cases, the, the actual case will provide you with these little screws that you're supposed to screw in before you put your motherboard in, just to raise it up slightly and align it nicely in the case. But Corsair in this case has actually given us uh, these screws already in place so we don't have to put them in, but just bear that in mind. All right, so the next step is to gently place the motherboard into the case, lining it up with those screws and making sure the IO shield and everything fits in nicely and just line everything up and make sure it's fitting. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the screws that came with the motherboard and screw it in nicely into the chassis. Okay, so the next step is to gently connect the CPU power or the CPU cooler power into the CPU section on the motherboard. It'll say a little CPU and it's a three pin plug that you plug in. And also just for convenience, I'll also connect the fan into the fan connector on the motherboard to ensure that everything will get power that way. If you read the instruction manual that they give you with the motherboard, you'll see what needs to be connected where. And then once we've installed everything, it should be all nicely looking something similar to this.